Okay, next project. Here's how it works. First, you and your group get a bag of candy. Notice it's a medium bag. This M&M's is 14 ounces. Okay, then you're going to uh, pour the candies out into a paper plate. Get those candies out there. Nice, good. And uh, you and your teammates are going to divide those candies up. See all the different colors? We want to get them divided by color. So, using a spoon, fork, or knife, not your hands, please do not touch with your bare hands, divide it out into the different colors that you find in there. Oh, look, there's Pac-Man. He was hiding in among the M&Ms. More on him later. Okay, so here you can see I've divided the M&Ms up by the different colors that they are. And I'm going to start moving one color at a time off to a different plate to count them. I found that when I line them up in rows of five each, it's easier to count them, but little chips or pieces do not count. So here I'm moving the green off onto a plate, a little blurry, sorry. Here they are counted. You notice that even though some of them are partial, if they're most of an M&M, they count. Here go the yellows. Notice that there's a half M&M there. It's really half, so I'm going to leave it as half. Hey, look, Pac-Man gets his mouth back. Found the piece that goes there, and so here we go. Reunited, and it feels so good. Okay, Here's my yellows. Notice again that half that's up there. I'm counting it as a half. Here's my oranges. I got them off onto a different plate, lined them up. Oh, don't forget to write down the numbers. You should be writing these down for each color. Okay, here's the oranges, all in nice military order, lined up for counting. And the reds. Okay, here are the reds going to be counted. See the little tiny shrapnel piece at the side? I just didn't count it. In fact, I think I ended up eating it later. Okay, here go the browns, getting moved off onto a plate to be counted. Get them all counted up. Those two pieces over on the side that make up part of an M&M, I think I counted them as one. Okay, here's a pie chart type plate full of M&Ms divided up by color, although the orange and red, it's hard to tell them apart in these pictures. Okay, so you got the idea? Now, in your spreadsheet, what you need to do is make a spreadsheet with the numbers for each color and a place for percent, then some using the auto sum function, which is the sigma, to get the sum of all of them, because you're going to need that. Okay, now here's the formula that you use. Equal sum, parenthesis, and you click on the cell for the number, slash for divide, then you click on the cell for the sum, which is, in my case, 466.5. I keep filling that in. Next to it, I've been typing that, converted into a percent, because the percent is listed as a decimal. Then I selected just the color names and the numbers, made my pie chart, Okay, you know how to do that. I changed the colors in the pie chart, too, to reflect the colors of the M&Ms. Then I went back and I, I just did some math and I, I compared my numbers with the chart numbers. Notice that the chart had uh, rounded the percentages to the nearest ones place. Okay, hope you have fun with that. Enjoy. Good luck.